Hey guys, welcome to Russ Sound at Home. I'm your host, Ben, from Tech Support today. I'm going to show you a couple neat tricks. This one is covering MBX and Chromecast related topics specifically. I want to show you how you can set Pandora as your default music service in Google Home. And I also want to demonstrate how you can cast using voice control to any of your rooms, whether it's one single room or groups. So let's go ahead and fire up what we have here. I have in front of us a couple devices set up here. I've got my tablet just for easy access to Google Home and the Pandora app. I also have an MBX Pre plugged in here and on my network. I don't have any speakers on the MBX, so unfortunately I can't actually have any audio coming right out of this particular one, but I do have several other MBXs located throughout my home as well. I've got one designated for the office. I've got one designated for the bedroom. I've got the one in the entertainment room, which that one does have speakers hooked up to it. And then we have a device in the kitchen here. What's this guy? This is a Google Home Hub. So this is where we would issue our voice commands directly to Google. This product actually also incorporates a speaker setup in it too. So in an ideal situation here, I'd have each of my MBX devices, one in the bedroom, one in the entertainment room, one in the office, and then I have a Chromecast device in the kitchen here, which is this guy right here. So it's essentially a four zone system I have. Three of those zones feature MBX products in them. So that's what I'm working with in my example today for you. All right, so in the Google Home app here, these four devices are already set up and registered and they are a part of the same home. So as you can see on this list, I have the bedroom, entertainment room, kitchen, and office as individual devices. Now, the first thing we wanna start with, now that we know what we're looking at here, is making Pandora your default music service. Because right now, if I want to address that Google Voice system and ask it to play some music for me, it's going to pull whatever audio I'm looking for from whatever is the current selection for default default music, excuse me, which when you first set it up is Google Play Music, which is great, but we want to use Pandora. So on Google Home, what we need to do is we need to go to settings. And once we're in our settings, we're going to scroll down a little bit and look for our Google Assistant Services settings and go to music. Now on here, we have a list of all the services that we can set up as our default music service. Normally, Google Play Music is listed as the default, but I have since actually selected Pandora. And when you do this the first time, it will ask you to link your Pandora account. You do this simply by just logging into your Pandora account through the Google Home app. And then it's linked. And now after I've made this selection here, Pandora is now my default music service. So if I give a voice command to our Google product here right now, and I say, hey Google, play the Rolling Stones. All right, here's the Rolling Stones on Pandora. Look at that. I didn't even have to tell it to, that I wanted Pandora specifically. We've already put that into the system. Not bad. Google is by far the easiest voice control system available in the market. And with the MBX supporting Chromecast hardware built in, the MBX is a perfect option for voice control systems and a, a whole lot house audio solution as well. So let's take that one step further here. Um, since I do have a Google device with a display here, I can actually see the information that's playing, play, pause, all that good stuff. Now if you'll notice here, I have the Chromecast icon as well. I can actually tell this device what we want to cast to. I can cast it to the bedroom with a touch of a, uh, my finger, or the entertainment room, the office right from here. I can also issue a voice command. So that's great if I want to be able to simply tell another room to play audio instead of the kitchen here. So let's try that. Hey Google, play Rolling Stones in the entertainment room, please. Okay, the Rolling Stones from Pandora, playing on entertainment room. So that's playing on the entertainment room now, which happens to be in a different room, so we're likely not going to hear it in the video right now, but... I can hear it playing down there right now, actually, so we know it's going. And you can see it on the display, of course, here, too. So, really slick and easy. Super easy voice control. Definitely the best in the market, especially with Rossan MBX. 
I'm going to show you one other thing we can do here too because playing to one room at a time is great and all, but well, we have a whole house audio system and solution set up with MBX, so why not play to the entire house? That makes a lot more sense. Let's pause this and go back to the Google Home app here. Go back one step further. So again, we have our four Google devices outlined here but I want to have a few groups set up too, so we're gonna do that together. All right, so let's do a few things together. We're going to make a few groups. So in order to add a group, we're going to tap the plus icon within Google Home, and we have the option from here to do all sorts of things and add and manage things. We can set up a new device if we have another MBX we wanna bring in or a, another Chromecast capable device and we can create a speaker group we can create a new home we want to do a speaker group though so we're going to tap that as you can see here now that we're going to add a speaker group we can select which google capable devices we want to be part of this group so let's go ahead and tap them all select every one of those bad boys and now we can name it i'm going to call this all rooms Save. Now we have a group called All Rooms. So now I can have a little extra layer of control with that. If I want to, I can issue our individual commands to Google per room. But if I want to do All Rooms, I can just issue the command directed to the group that we've created. So check this out. Hey Google. Play Rolling Stones in all rooms. Sure. Here's a Pandora station called the Rolling Stones Radio, playing on all rooms. So it's playing Pandora, not just to one MDX, but all of our devices now. We've got a speaker built into this Google device, so it's playing right through that. I don't have any speakers hooked up to this MDX, but as you can see, the light did turn green, so it's active. If we had speakers and an amp, it would be playing as well. Hey Google, mute the volume, please. So that makes it super easy to issue voice commands. I definitely like Google a lot. It's very streamlined and efficient, especially since the hardware is built right into the Rossan MBX. This makes it the ultimate voice audio control system, uh, bar none, one of the best, if not the best, I would probably say. Um, let's jump right back into the group thing, though, because there's one other thing I want to show you. Having all the rooms part of that one group is great, but I've got a two-story house here, and what if I want to listen to something upstairs and something else downstairs? Well, there's a group for that, too. We're going to add another group. Once again, we're going to go into Add and create a speaker group, and we're going to choose the entertainment room and the bedroom, both of which are downstairs, and we're going to add these to a group. We're going to call this Downstairs. We're going to do another group. Go ahead and create speaker group again. And take the kitchen and the office, both of which are upstairs, and we're going to call this upstairs. Save. Well, that's easy. Now we have a total of three groups. We have our four individual streaming devices, one for each room, and then our three groups. The first group we created was all rooms. It contains all four of our streamers. The second group is downstairs. It contains two out of those four, the ones that are located downstairs physically. That third group is upstairs. This contains the two streamers that are located in the two physically upstairs rooms. Now, what this also means is that we have, in a few cases, we have some MBXs that are actually part of more than just one group. So you have a lot of capability to have different layers of groups and name them according to how you want them for easy access. So now we can say, hey Google,
play the Rolling Stones downstairs, please. Sure. Here's a Pandora station called the Rolling Stones Radio, playing on downstairs. All right, so that's playing downstairs. What about us up here? We want to listen to something good. Hey, Google, play some Kid Rock upstairs. Sure, Kid Rock from Pandora, playing on upstairs. That's not bad. So we've got some audio playing downstairs on our two streamers, and we've got some audio up here playing. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy system to set up, and if you want to use the MBX with Google Home Services, you can actually pretty much operate the entire system without even needing to go into the, the Rossound app at all, which gives you a lot of extra control if you want to set up a smart home system with Google Voice commands. So once again, Google Voice, that is the most efficient and stable voice control system out there currently, and it's flawless because on the MBX, that hardware necessary is built right in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.